Hey guys, today's video uh, is only going to be about bass fishing. I know I don't really do it too often on video, but actually, truth be told, this year I've actually done some bass fishing tournaments. I've just done a lot more bass fishing in general, and I've actually really, really started to like it a lot more than I used to. I used to think it was kind of boring, but once you kind of figure out different techniques and, and ways to chase them, it can be a lot of fun. Another cool thing about bass is most of the lakes in Minnesota obviously have largemouth bass. A lot of lakes have smallmouth bass too, which in my opinion are 20 times better, but unfortunately in the metro there's not many smallmouth bass waters, but the uh, Minnesota metro area is a stellar largemouth bass fishery, mostly because a lot of these lakes are actually managed for fishing tournaments, therefore a lot of the bigger fish are released and a lot of the fish get bigger size potential. But today I'm going to head out in the open water for the first time. This lake is supposed to have some of the best largemouth bass fishing. It's actually starting to sprinkle a little bit, so I don't know if I'll be able to use the DSR much. But we're going to get on the water. I marked a few points on Google Satellite that look very good. So hopefully it's a frog bite. We just had a big thunderstorm roll through last night along with some colder weather. So we're going to go try it. I got a good feeling about today, but let's get into it. All right, all right, all right. What? Oh. I was going to say. All right. So, it's a little bit windy today. I really want to fish frogs, and that's what I'm going to do for the most part. I'm pretty confident in fishing frogs. So as you can see, the wind is blowing straight into me. Therefore, it's blowing straight into this bay. However, there's a lot of lily pads and thick cover and like points with brush on them and it protects the the wind so there's one right in front of me but I think what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to hit these calm spots because most of them have good frog fishing cover this one's got some brush in it so first I'll hit these if that doesn't pan out and there's no fish up there then uh, I'm going to have to go with it they've moved off into kind of like the deeper wind blow and stuff so then I'll throw like spinner baits and stuff like that I probably will end up catching a big northern because that's how it goes for me every time I try to catch a specific fish in these conditions. I always catch big pike. So I guess it's a win-win. So here's what I'm going to do. There's a bunch of brush. I'm going to throw a spinnerbait, just cover some water, and just figure out kind of where the fish are hanging. And then once I figure that out, then I'll... So we want spinner baits. Which one? There's spinner baits. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. This is a JB lighter spinner bait. Uh, single blade. You can't go wrong with smaller stuff. First fish. Doesn't feel that big, but would you look at that? My god, we found them. That is exactly what I came here to catch. I came to the world or metro class bass lake to catch a snot rocket. Goodbye, son. Thanks for playing. Alright. Well, we've got the first fish out of the... Oh my god, that's a big cabbage bed. Holy smokes, that's a big cabbage bed. I bet you... Oh, no wonder people are throwing tip-ups back here. Now I understand the hype. Not bad. Yeah, I think it's got a really big mouth for its size. Okay, well, apparently the frog isn't going to do anything today, so I switched the spinner bait. That's a really pretty fish. First fish. I mean, that thing's got a big mouth. Wow. That's what they call them largemouth, I guess, huh? Another one. That's 
little bit better. Maybe not. Same size. Same size as the last one. About. Very pretty fish again. Here's the spinnerbait bite. Appears that they're really close to the pads though, so unless maybe I just wasn't casting at any fish, maybe I can get them on the frog, so I might switch back to that. I'm reeling the spinnerbait pretty slow too. It's a small spinnerbait. Usually you want to fish it fast, but I'm fishing it slow. There's another fish. About the same size maybe. Yeah, a little bit better. So obviously we're onto something here with the spinnerbait. Man, these are just, these are really healthy fish. Not giant, but super, super, super healthy fish. You can see I'm just flipping right up into this uh, calm stuff. And the fish are just, seem to be just coming right out of the pads. And like I said, I am just, this is a five or a 6.3 to one gear ratio reel. You can see I'm just really just Slowing it down, just keeping it just above the weeds. It seems to be working pretty well. But the strike zone seems to be the same with almost every single fish that I get, so. I fished a couple spots um, without turning the camera on just to see if I was gonna catch any fish. Unfortunately, I didn't have a single bite. So, not sure what's going on here. Um, Maybe I just suck, or maybe it's the clear water that was getting me bites. I have no idea. I'm in a slow no wake zone, so I'm going to fish through it. So it looks pretty decent. Otherwise, I think my next resort is to just fish docks, which I can do simultaneously while I'm fishing this area here. So that's what I'm gonna do. A few moments later. Taken Okay, well I caught three or four bass so not bad um, Would like to stay out there longer, but I got to call it a day cuz we got severe weather that's coming in So I don't really want to be caught in that not really worth risking my life for. So I'm gonna go home and edit, and hopefully this weather will pass before the uh, before nightfall, and I can get back out and fish for some walleyes or pike or something. But uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.